Good morning. Listen, it's late. I'm hungry. He's just so happy when I come home. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Let's talk. <laughs> Let's talk about the haters. Okay. So, it's been a long time since I've just sat down and talked to the camera. And I don't have notes today. Wanted to speak from the heart. Um, I got an idea. I got the idea. Blah, 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 blah. I got the idea for this video last night while I was talking to one of you, one of my beautiful, wonderful, amazing patrons. Um, on Skype, I have an option where we can Skype once a month and I was talking to one of you beautiful souls and the question was brought up How do I deal with people who make rude comments in my direction? And I gave my answer and in my head I was like shit. This is a really amazingly eloquent answer Maybe I should make a video about this didn't say that to the girl But if you're watching hi you inspired me and inspired this video congratulations And if by the way if you're interested in checking out my patreon account account I don't know, opportunities, lots of options. It's always linked in the description box below. Okay, excuse me. So most of the time people are concerned about the what ifs. What if someone is mean to me as I'm gaining weight in recovery? Or what if someone comments on my weight gain? What if people judge me, blah, 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 blah. And I have a whole video about that fear of judgment being something that holds you back. What my typical advice is, is that in those scenarios is mostly just like that your fear that that's gonna happen is largely unfounded because 98% of the time no one's gonna say anything even though 98% of the time no one will say anything to you 2% of the time still exists and it's good to be prepared in those scenarios let's say I had an, an unruly friend or something who was just like wow you're getting bigger, like, is everything okay? Like blah, 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 like this fake concern bullshit. If you are on the receiving end of a comment like that, I know it, it can get, you can get hot and get in your head and you can get loud in your head and hot and not know how to respond and immediately start to internalize uh, words like that. And so here is my advice. When someone comments something like that, it is a complete reflection of their own insecurities and honestly has little to nothing to do with you yourself. If someone is so deeply insecure with their own personal like diet culture, weight bias, looks bias, or their own body or whatever, that they feel the need to comment on other people's bodies, it says so much more about their character than it does about whatever they it is they're commenting on you. What is that person going through? Has that person been entrenched in diet culture for the last couple years or their whole life? Do they only know diets? Are they so biased by diet culture that they they only are willing to accept one type of person as ideal are they so ignorant they're not willing to understand that every single person is going through their own journey mostly it's just what is what is it that they feel about themselves that would make them think saying anything out loud would be appropriate and feel empathy for them my go-to is uh, would always have just been i'm actually recovering from an eating disorder thanks for noticing i'm much happier all about me, not about them. You come back and you're like, well, you're ugly too, then you're part of the problem. Okay, so if you want, if you can't resist the temptation to say something mean, that's what's gotta be. All about you, not about them. However, my advice is to just take a deep breath, smile it off and walk away, and remember in your heart that whatever was just said to you is not a reflection of you, but it's a reflection of the person who just spoke that way. And feel, feel bad for them take the time to really think about a constructive way of educating them on why what they said was wrong if that kind of if that person is open to that kind of communication some people too defensive will shut it down want to fight make you feel worse never good to just get into a fight with someone who's not willing to learn to, to open their mind and understand 
but if it is someone you're close to who's maybe willing to open their mind and understand, then, then maybe this is a good time for you to kind of explain the harmful impact of their words and their lack of understanding on a greater situation. If they're not willing to, just walk away. If you can't walk away because maybe you live with this person, uh, they're your mother or your roommate or your sister or your nephew, I don't fucking know. It's just one of those things where you kind of have to become numb to the criticism. And that's really hard to do because this is someone who's making judgments out loud about your life and is unwilling to listen to the fact that these judgments are hurting you and instead is choosing to hurt you over help you. Immediately recognize that as someone who, even though they think they have good intentions, is not there to help you. The reality is you have to look out for yourself. Because let's say someone calls you fat for some, for some reason, you know why you've gained weight. You know why you look that way. You know it's because you're actually healthier than ever, despite what that person may think. You know that you've actually done this incredible, amazing thing and embarked on this recovery journey that is going to save you both mentally and physically from pain and torture and torment for decades down the line. You know that what you are doing is the absolute greatest thing that you can be doing for yourself. So you should know not to let these comments affect you because they are born from ignorance and not from actual fact. You know your body and your life more than any other person, whether they live with you or not, can ever know. In summation, rise above. Remember that negative comments are a reflection of the speaker and not the recipient. And remember that what you are doing is for you. You don't have to be a stick figure to be beautiful. Okay, hello, hello. Okay, well anyway, I hope some of that helped. Um, I really need to eat this. Mm, I'm hungry. If you're new here, hello, my name is Rachel. This is Ladle by Ladle. I make videos on eating disorder recovery, body positivity, self-love, intuitive eating, and veganism. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe and like this video. You know, if you liked it, or even if you didn't like it, whatever, just hit like, it makes me feel better. Bye-bye. Oh, subscribe, did I say that? Uh, whatever, you guys get it.